All right, you ready to go on a record? Okay. All right, good morning. Or, good morning, everyone. This is Judge Bowman. This is the triage calendar to Fort Department One. We are hearing these matters pursuant to emergency rules three and five and pursuant to the general orders of the presiding department as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. These hearings are being held remotely uh, through video in a closed courtroom. However, it is being live streamed through YouTube, so the public does have access to these hearings. Uh, the first matter before the court is the people of the state of California versus Callan Winslow. This is case number SCN 387417. Can we have appearances of counsel, please, starting first with the people? Mr. Owens, go ahead. Good morning, Your Honor. Deputy District Attorney Dan Owens on behalf of the people appearing remotely via video from the District Attorney's Office. Thank you. Mr. Carlos, on behalf of Mr. Winslow. Good morning, Your Honor. Mark Carlos appearing video, via video uh, with Mr. Lin Winslow is uh, in custody at George Bailey and he's present also. All right, thank you. Uh, Mr. Winslow is present via video. Can you hear me, Mr. Winslow? Yes, I can, Your Honor. All right, good morning, sir. Uh, morning. The matter is set for the court today for purposes of a modification of a change of plea. However, we do have three media requests. One is from the local media. We do have a local camera crew here in the courtroom uh, with a pooling agreement. Uh, we also have a, a request from Law and Crime Productions. We also have a request from Court TV. Court TV wants to record and broadcast the audio feed uh, from the YouTube. Is there any objection by the people to any of those three requests, Mr. Owens? No, thank you, Your Honor. And Mr. Carlos? No, oh, yeah. All right, the court uh, will sign the three media requests. They are granted subject to the local rules of court, and those will be placed in the file. All right. Uh, I do have in my hand a change of plea form. This is a modification from the original change of plea. Is that correct, Mr. Owens? Yes. All right, would you like to uh, uh, describe to the court the changes that are contemplated by this amendment to the change of plea? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, there is going to be a withdrawal of the guilty plea that was entered on November 4th of 2019, uh, impacting the a uh, sexual battery count involving Jane Doe 1, the penal code section 243.4 paren A charge that Mr. Winslow previously uh, admitted. And uh, in its place, uh, Mr. Winslow will be admitting a guilty plea uh, to a charge of penal code section 220 parentheses A, which would be assault with the intent to commit rape. Uh, within the meaning of two, uh, Penal Code Section 261A2, involving that same victim, Jane Doe 1. Uh, and the people and the defense have agreed to a stipulated term in prison of uh, 14 years, where uh, it has been calculated in the way that we laid out on paragraph two. All right. Uh, so essentially, the only changes are he's going to withdraw his plea of guilty to the 234.4 for Jane Doe number one, and in its place, uh, plead guilty to an LAO of count two, which is a penal code section 220A, and stipulate to a 14 year sentence. Is that correct, Mr. Owen? Yes. And Mr. Carlos, is that your understanding? It is, Your Honor. And have you had a chance to discuss this with your client? I have, Your Honor. All right. Uh, Mr. Winslow, I'm going to ask you to raise your right hand the best you can. The clerk is going to swear you in. Okay, Ms. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Go ahead. And a penalty of perjury, the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Uh, so say, say that again, I'm sorry. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. You may put your hand down. All right, thank you, Mr. Winslow. Uh, I have in my hand a change of plea form. It is a blue sheet of paper. It has uh, uh, printed on both sides. And on this change of plea form, it has initials in the boxes on the right-hand side of the form. It also has a signature. Uh, it appears to be an electronic signature. Uh, did you go over this change of plea form with your attorney? Uh, yes, Your Honor. And did you authorize your attorney to place your initials in each of these boxes on the change of plea form and sign your name on this change of, change of plea form? Yes, sir, I did, Your Honor. All right, and then prior to doing that, did he explain the contents of the change of plea form in each and every paragraph that you authorized him to initial on your behalf? Yes, he did. And uh, did he also explain to you that by signing this document, 
that you are declaring under penalty of perjury that you understand and initialed each item uh, and everything in this uh, document is true and correct. Did he explain that to you before you authorized him to sign your name to this change of plea form? Yes, Your Honor, he did. All right, and you heard Mr. Owens describe uh, to the court uh, what the change of plea involves. It's essentially an amendment to the original change of plea form uh, that was entered into on November 4th of 2019. Uh, what this what this amendment contemplates is withdrawing your uh, plea of guilty uh, with respect to Jane Doe number one to Penal Code Section 234.4, and in its place you will be admitting a lesser included offense of Count Two, which is a violation of Penal Code Section 220A. Uh, the other material change is that you would be stipulating to a 14-year sentence. Is that your understanding of the amendment to this plea agreement? Uh, yes, Your Honor, it is. Did you have enough time to discuss this plea agreement with your client, I mean, with your attorney, Mr. Carlos? Uh, uh, yes, I did. And did he thoroughly explain to you the consequences of the change of plea uh, amendment that we're about to enter into today? Yes, Your Honor, he did. Okay, you understand that um, by stipulating to a 14-year prison sentence, the original plea was a sentencing range of 12 to 16 years. Do you understand that? Your Honor, it was 12 to 18 Oh, I'm sorry, 12 to 18 years. I'm sorry, thank you. 12 to 18 years. You understand that, sir? Uh, yes, Your Honor. All right, and you understand that by entering into this plea agreement, you're giving up the possibility of being sentenced to 12 or 13 years. Do you understand that? I do. But you also, at the same juncture, are uh, minimizing your exposure. In other <laughs> words, you cannot be sentenced to 18 years, 17 years, 16 years, or 15 years. You understand that as well, correct? I do, Your Honor, yes, sir. All right, and you agree to the stipulated sentence of 14 years then? Uh, yes, I do. All right, do you understand that you have the right to a speedy and public trial by jury, the right to confront and cross-examine all the witnesses against you, the right to remain silent unless you choose to testify on your own behalf, and you also have the right to present evidence on your own behalf and subpoena documents and witnesses uh, through the power of the court to come to court and testify for you? Do you understand you have all of those rights? Uh, yes, I do. I would just have to, I want to ask a question. Okay, go That's ahead. Okay. That's fine. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to know if if I was to go to trial, would I get an actual jury of my peers that, uh, uh, people of color that would look like me, would I get a, a, tri a jury trial like that? Okay, well, just look, Mr. yeah, Mr. Winslow, the, the uh, point <laughs> now is the change of plea form that you already executed is, uh, is a, is a binding change of plea form. Uh, you cannot get to another trial unless you make a motion to withdraw your plea of guilty. And that's not where we are right now. All we're doing is amending the change of plea form. So if you, if you don't wanna do this amendment, the original change of plea form will remain and you can be sentenced up to 18 years. Is that what you'd like to do? Cause we can end this right now. Oh, no, 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 no. It was just a okay. question. Okay, why don't we do this? Let's take a brief recess. Uh, and if you if you don't want to do this amendment, I'm not going to make you and we will proceed with sentencing on the original change of plea. So we're going to take a brief recess. I'm going to allow you to talk to Mr. Carlos privately. He's going to call you on the phone and you can speak with him privately and then we will be back in session. How much time do you need, Mr. Carlos? Five, ten minutes? Five minutes, John. OK, minutes. we'll be back in session five minutes. So, Mr. Winslow, you take as much time as you need to talk to Mr. Carlos. If you need more than five minutes, you can let us know, sir. We'll be in recess for five minutes. Thank Someone you. Someone give me the number to call. All right, we are back on the record in the Winslow case. Mr. Carlos, did you have enough time to talk about this matter with your client? I did, Your Honor. Okay, and are you, are you ready to proceed? Yes. All right, Mr. Winslow, did you have enough time to talk with your attorney, Mr. Carlos? I did, Your Honor. Okay, and I, we left off and I'd asked you some questions about whether you give up all your constitutional rights. Uh, do you give up those constitutional rights at this point? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, and just to be clear, uh, there uh, is some dispute as to whether or not the court can get to a term of 18 years. Uh, that uh, depends on the interpretation of one case and the uh, attorneys for both sides have not yet briefed that. They have not presented an argument on that issue. Uh, I think it's your attorney's position, Mr. Winslow, that the court cannot legally sentence you to 18 years. It's the position of the people that the court can sentence you to 18 years. Uh, to avoid uh, the possibility of doing an 18-year sentence, uh, 
my understanding is the parties have agreed to stipulate to 14 and uh, remove that ambiguity in the law from the change of plea. So uh, your options at this point are to stand on the original change of plea and, and hear argument and be exposed to 18 years or proceed with the amendment today in which you are guaranteed a term of 14 years and not any more time than that. Do you understand that, Mr. Winslow? Yes, Your Honor, I do. Okay, and do you want to proceed then with the, with the amendment to the change of plea form? Uh, yes, I would like to agree to 14 years. Okay, all right. Then uh, uh, the, uh, the change of plea form calls, then you will withdraw your change of plea to uh, Penal Code Section 234.4 and instead enter a plea of guilty to uh, the lesser included offense of count two, which is penal code section 220A. So with respect to the lesser included offense of count two, a violation of penal code section 220A, how do you plead, guilty or not guilty? Uh, guilty. All right, and uh, the factual basis for the lesser included offense of the second amended consolidated information is that on March 17, 2018, you assaulted Jane Doe number one with the intent to commit rape within the meaning of Penal Code Section 261A2 in violation of Penal Code Section 220A. Is that what you in fact did that makes you guilty of this lesser included offense of count two? Uh, yes. All right, then the court will find there's a factual basis for the plea of guilty to the lesser included offense of count two, and the court hereby accepts that change of plea uh, to the lesser included offense of count two. Is there a people's motion? Uh, I believe that the motion was previously made, but if not, just to ensure things are done correctly, then we would move to dismiss it, uh, the balance of any uh, pending charges. All right, then that motion is granted to dismiss the penal code section 234.4, which was previously uh, entered into as a, a, a plea of guilty. And the uh, court then will accept the amendment to the change of plea. And uh, we will set sentencing. We'll need a pre-sentence report, which won't take too long. Uh, the court and counsel discussed dates off the record, and we agreed to set it for sentencing on March 3rd at 9 o'clock. Is that acceptable to the defense? Yes, John. And Mr. Owens, it's acceptable to you as well? It is. Thank you. All right. We don't need to take a time waiver because we had an open time waiver before. So we will set the matter for sentencing on March 3rd. That will be at 9 o'clock, and we will hear that right here in department one all right are there any other matters uh you wish to address at this time mr owens no thank you all right anything else mr carlos yeah just at the uh the, the minute order we discussed uh in chambers oh. the issue yeah later I, we'll, we'll put a i note that mr winslow uh his hair has grown out quite a bit and your request is to send him to uh get a haircut prior to the sentencing correct that's, that is it's his request Okay, it is request. So I'll, I'll put that on the minute order, but uh, the jail does what they want to do. Uh, I will suggest that they give him a haircut prior to the next hearing, and then we'll see how he looks on March 3rd. So, Mr. Yeah. Winslow, that's the best I can do, and we'll see everybody back here on March 3rd. That will be at 9 o'clock in Department 1. Have Thank a you. nice day. We're in recess. Thank you, Your Honor.